What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I moved into my new place here in Midtown three or four weeks ago and I've done like nothing to it so far. It really does not look like someone lives there at the moment. So we're gonna try to make that a little better today. I got a lot of things on my bucket list I gotta get done. I wanna start furnishing it and make it look presentable and like an actual home. So I'll take you guys all on the way today. It should be a pretty fun, really laid back video. So I hope you enjoy. Let's go. So the absolute first thing I need to get is a blender because I've somehow gone a full year with no blender and I've spent way too much money on smoothies. So I might as well start making my own. Of course you got the ninjas. The ninjas are pretty classic here. Or this one's pretty nice too. Let's see, this one looks expensive. Yeah, 170, not exactly trying to spend that much on a blender. The neutral bullets, I've heard good things about. This one, the magic bullet, I've heard this one actually sucks. So do not get this one. I'll probably go with this one, the neutral bullet. Uh, was it 80 bucks? Yeah, that's cool. So let's go with this one, add this one to the cart. and. Stay tuned, but I start mixing up some shit. Some insane peanut butter and ass smoothies. The second thing I need is more storage because if you saw my last video, my girlfriend is moving into my apartment next week and there's literally only one closet in the apartment to store things. So I either need something like this where it's an adjustable rack to hang clothes up on or I need to get a full cabinet to set up to, to store her clothes as well. So either of these, I gotta get one of these. We wanna make everything look black and white. We just kinda like that style. So let's pick up two of these black bath towels because why not picked up two more things in there i got a really pretty big white rug my girlfriend was nervous that this would get dirty i did send us a picture to her and ask her what she thought she said no don't get that one get a black one instead so it doesn't get dirty so i got the white one and then i also got a rug that says welcome to our home to put outside our apartment to make it feel like home so that is the first stop let's get this loaded in the car and run to the next stop i'm in line with the stars i'm in sync with the earth I just spent like two hours in mattress firm for no reason. I don't know why I was in there so long, but I walked in there asking. So I have two twin mattresses at my place right now. Why? Don't ask. Long story, but two twin mattresses, I wanted to essentially put them together because I thought two twins made a king. So I walked in there asking, you know, can I have a topper and a base, a king size topper and base. So when I put my two twins together, it's essentially like a, a king bed. And I do look at me like I was essentially speaking French. So kind of scrapped that idea. So I started looking at queen mattresses and uh wow they were selling the hell out of me i did get a quote and i think i might actually go back tomorrow and get it but damn we'll see all right i'll see you back in my apartment to move this stuff that we bought so far in all right here's what we got so far and i moved my bedding for now over to the side so you can see the big picture first of all i set up this extra storage here you can store your shoes at the bottom and then place the hang whatnot right here and then store anything else on top and then move it out here. I did place the doormat so you can take a good look when you first walk in. Welcome to our home, very nice, very nice. You see us more welcoming, lock that door. And then in here I replaced the crappy old hand-me-down ugly rug with this new white one. I'm gonna get a black one as well. I'm debating whether to put the white one here or the white one over here underneath where the bed will be. So I'll figure that out. I'll probably move the white one over to the corner later and then put a black one here so the white one doesn't get dirty as quickly. I got my Nutribullet up and running. Gonna bust this thing up probably every single day. And then the big picture, I'm probably gonna go back in the next few days to get that bed. So that's gonna go right here. It's gonna be a queen size bed right here. Ignore this wire, I'll move that later. But it'll be right here, and it'll go from the corner to about essentially right here. Come this way, about stop right here. It'll stop like right here, so all this space will be bed. And then over here, I have a couch getting delivered tomorrow to put here in front of the coffee table and the TV. And if you've been watching some of my videos, I mentioned in videos before that I want to paint, and I'm going to once Skylar gets here this, this, and this these three things right here to match my work desk over here and then all the cabinets 
on the kitchen because they're pretty much the same very very dark brown almost black color i think if all these things were to match that would look uh look pretty good i'm going out to buy a lot more stuff tomorrow i will see you then Welcome to the next day guys, we got a couple more things to get today. I want to get a coffee table, a small coffee table with two chairs next to it so we can actually eat meals sitting down instead of standing up. Right now we're heading to Home Goods. Hold on, let me try to merge without dying here. We're heading to Home Goods. If they don't have anything nice, we'll probably go to Ikea, even though I absolutely hate Ikea. That place is a jungle, but they do have everything and anything I may, could, or would need. So. Yeah, all right, first stop, let's go. I picked up a few things so far. Got this thing for my bathroom, just to uh, store some stuff. I got this sweet looking white chair to put next to my kitchen, that little desk area where I do my YouTube, and also a shower caddy to store and keep everything nice and neat that I will install later tonight. Guys, fun fact about me, one thing I've always wanted, but somehow never had is a globe. I've never had a globe. I've always wanted a globe. I'm just really fascinated with countries and their shape and where exactly they are located in the world. But right now we're going over to this place called The Dump. This guy inside asked me, I was looking for like something very specific and he asked me if I knew what The Dump was. Apparently it's a really sweet furniture store up in Buckhead so we're gonna go there instead of Ikea. So see you there. Nope, 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 nope. Never mind. Not that place. I walked in and then walked right back out because there's not a single thing in there underneath like $2,000 and I'm still balling on a budget. So that leaves one more place and I will see you there. Welcome to the jungle guys. So my next thing I need is because I work from home, I want to separate my office space from the rest of the apartment because it's just a studio, it's just one room. I need a separate closed off space, especially when Skylar moves in, she doesn't want to be in the background of my video calls because I'm on video calls like all day. So I'm looking for a foldable room divider to put behind me and my desk to shield off you know, that space from the rest of the room. And I think I'm in the right aisle, but who knows because there's like, 120 hours in this place. All right, I think this is it, but uh, I'm not sure if this means that they're out of stock. Riser, room divider there, see like three panels to, to shield off from the rest, 200 bucks, not bad, but where are they? Not in stock, so I guess we gotta go somewhere else to find that, because I really need it. I uh, said the one just got sold like an hour before me, and then the other one they had in stock, someone dropped the freaking box, and it shattered it on the inside. So they had to order a couple more, which will be in on a Wednesday, so uh, <laughs> That sucks. However, the coolest thing just happened. I ran into a subscriber here at Ikea. Tavar, when you watch this, shout out to you. Thank you so much for watching as long as you have. I appreciate you so much. And that's happened a few times now, running into random subscribers. It's happened here, it's happened at the gym, it's happened at Target and Kroger, my grocery store. So please, if you see me out in public, come up. We can exchange phone numbers or whatever. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So thank you. All right, my Target haul, I got two of these super comfy white pillows for the couch that have been delivered. I got a light bulb for this lamp I have. I got LED lights to put around the room. Those should be pretty sick once I get those up. Pretty basic, simple white mirror and another black rug. So that is my Target haul. I will get this back into my room and then I'll see you back there. So we got a ways to go, but I'm super happy with the progress today. Of course, I already showed you this. I have a brand new mirror next to it. Very nice, very nice. I have my shoe rack right here. Moving in, I have my garbage can right here. Of course, I will have my queen size bed right there in the next week or so. That mattress over there will be tossed off my balcony. Moving in here, just got this couch. Super nice, I got a great deal on this thing. Black, well actually it's not black. It's very, very dark brown leather. And I added two of these white pillows to add some comfort and to accent it and also match the white rug underneath. You've already seen my workspace, this whiteboard here, I'm gonna hang up there eventually. I just kinda write some notes down when I'm working. Check out my beautiful new white YouTube editing chair. I'm gonna be using this every single day and I'm about to use it for another hour or two tonight before I upload this video tomorrow. The kitchen is pretty standard, nothing too crazy. Moving into the bathroom, this bin here, essentially just stores everything in a more tidy, neat order than having everything scattered all over the counter. Here's our two towels that we got and this K2 
caddy I will put together in the next few days or so. I just, it's pretty late tonight. I have a lot more things to do, but you get the gist. It'll go in the corner here and there'll be different shells attached to it to store these bottles. And then we also have a bunch of miscellaneous decorations that we're going to put together later. Just a few pictures of me and my girlfriend. Uh, we're going to hang up bunch of places here. I also have some soccer posters and, and whatnot. So only things left, I want to put a small table right here. I mentioned that earlier, I was gonna buy one, but I didn't see one that I love and I have to love something to buy it. So I have not bought one yet. I will buy one once she comes. Once we are 100% done, I will give you guys a full in-depth, very detailed tour of every single inch of this apartment. That will not be for probably a month because there's just a lot to be done when we move into a new place. So with that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you smash that thumbs up button and also subscribe if you haven't because i drop a new video every single monday that you don't want to miss see you next monday